Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. As you can see, we have baby Ruby here and I am just doing a close up of her. I'm gonna make this video very short, very quick. Um, hopefully that it's not too heavy to um, upload. But I just wanted to just go back over and show her little details and just, I'm just fascinated with how little the little ones are. And also fascinated with the fact that I can't believe that I actually am collecting babies this size because, you know, five years ago or, or, or six years ago or seven years ago, I wouldn't have never considered a baby this small. It's like, what am I going to do with that? But I'm just so fascinated with everything with her. She's so little, a little, little, tiny little feet, <laughs> little feet. Such a little, little peanut, excuse my ashy hands, and crazy polish. Um, but yeah, and I just, you know, for me, the, the silicone is everything. Like, you can see the wrinkles in the silicone, like, even in her legs. When I move her legs, you can see, like, in person, you can see the, the wrinkles, like, um, up. Oh not focusing but yeah you can see the wrinkles and and stuff but she is such a sweetie i i almost think jasper is even a little bit more softer and i really really like that um now jasper has an armature she does not um i kind of like them both at first i was like oh she need an armature but i do like the flexibility and everything with without looking at her like, I can't see what you guys see. I'm going to put her on a diaper in a second. But I wanted to to show you guys. She's just so tiny. Like, I think that is so funny how tiny she is. But, yeah, like, see, if you lean her up, like, you can see the wrinkles where they begin to form. And you don't have to put much pressure for her to wrinkle. So, I really love this silicone. Like, that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm really, <laughs> girl, I'm really, like, exploring other pores in people's silicone because I want to see how, you know, who has, like, the nice, the nice pores. You know, I'm accustomed to very, very, very nice, soft silicone. So, I, that's what I want to collect. And I know sometimes that's hard to find in kits. You know, and if I want to, and ones that paint nicely because I've realized that some silicone babies don't paint as nice as others. Um, I don't know what they're doing, what's the difference um, if they're all using, you know, the same silicone or, or not. But I do know that I found that some just, no matter what you do and how much work you put into it, they just, the coloring and the, the way that the paint goes on does not go on as smooth or whatever and maybe it's some hidden trick out there that I am not aware of yet because I've not you know had you know people talk about it as much so I'm just like okay well maybe you know some trick to it but I've um I've had different you know silicones I mean that I don't get me wrong I, I, I've enjoyed painting every silicone baby that I've painted but like I said that it's a difference in it and so that's what I've been wanting to feel I have like I said I've been telling you guys for a while I have a kit that I really really want to paint and the reason why I want to paint that silicone so much is because for one I really love the face and for two I think that the pour is going to be really nice. Um, it's supposed to be in a marshmallow blend, like you can get it in a marshmallow blend. And, you know, you that's something that, you know, you don't usually get in kit form. And so I, I really want to experience that. So I'm eventually going to get there, but I, baby steps baby steps because I don't want to overdo myself because I have a baby that I have to get home 
and it's not a cheap baby <laughs> so I want to concentrate on that first and then I will see and then I will uh, really focus on the other kit that I want but you know, because sometimes, you know, people say, like, I've had people say, oh, it's poured in the super soft, and I get the kit, and it's, like, not super soft. It's more like Equiflex 20, um, or Equiflex 30, even, and, but they're saying, like, it's super soft, and it's not really super soft. Well, not the super soft that I'm used to, but we can't really, another thing, you can't really say something is not and I got to be careful with my words because um it could very well be everybody mix and blend is different and you know super the term super soft is really based on op opinion because it may be super soft compared to their normal pores not super soft compared to what I'm used to if that makes sense um but like Eagle Flex 20 and Eagle Flex 30 they even them feel totally different sometimes based off of the pores. So um, silicone is very, very tricky. It's a very tricky medium. Um, it's a reason why it's so expensive <laughs> because it's a very tricky medium. But nevertheless, like I said, I just wanted to come on and show this little one. I am... I'm just tickle pink with her. I I like, you know, putting her in other people uh, videos and stuff. I have a kit here, another another premium kit here, but it's in vinyl. I'm gonna see how I feel. I love it now. I gotta see how I feel about it once it's painted and put together because, um, in the past, I've liked micro preemies and well yeah micro preemies and preemies and silicone not so much in vinyl but now that i've been on such a preemie kick i really fell for this kit but the vinyl kit that i have is exactly the look that i'm looking for so um yeah so that's uh i'm just so excited about it because it like i said it's the exact look that i'm looking for in a preemie this sculptor really nailed it the real look of a you know micro preemie so i'm excited so i will see you guys later i just wanted to show ruby ruby tuesday and um i hope everybody's having a great day and i will talk to you guys later i have pre-recorded quite a bit of videos but i've been deleting them you know each day kind of like no I, I shouldn't do that one no i shouldn't do that one so, I don't know. Hopefully, I have enough to get me through this rooting process. Later.